but we will talk a little bit more about something related to Persona 4. It's um, it's spin off, it's fighting game spin off Persona 4 Arena, because we are now going to talk about Robot Girls. Mm. That's what we're talking about, because Robot yeah, Girls. Robot Girls. Is this a Beach Boys song that I missed? I feel like it should be, <laughs> <laughs> um, because um, we're gonna put these in. As, so um, so spoilers for Persona 3. Persona 4 Arena and Persona back to Persona 5 Strikers. And so let's start let's I, I kind of I want to start with Persona 4 Arena because I'm on the start of Persona 4. And this is honestly the best story of them all. Mm. There's this character of, 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 of Labrys, who is this robot that's created to fight. Um, is uh, I guess becomes a later one of the line. Uh, fight shadows because in this world shadows are things that can be fought um, mm-hmm. because in persona 3 the shadows are taking are basically being are um during the during every after and there's an extra hour after midnight where shadows come out and, mm-hmm. and kill and do something like maybe like do shit to people mm-hmm. um so so Abris is being created um and of course sh- but they program our feelings and, and, and of course, it's commentary. And why did you program this robot with feelings? Because she's now, because she starts, first she just starts destroying the other robots, and then she starts trying to just um, to to take away their fighting capacity. Of course, the robots die, get get destroyed afterwards. Mm-hmm. And plumes of dust are taken out. Whatever mm-hmm. that that allowed them to create a persona. And then and then of course, and she gets a friend with a, with, a, with a dog, and then. And, and this other robot that eventually tells her, like, she talks about thinking, about, like, well, am, I, am I able to think about things that are not just battle? And she and she gets feel, I mean, she gets this friendship with this robot. And then she's full, and then after she's allegedly completed her trials, she has to fight, she has to fight all the other robots because she's the best robot. Mm-hmm. She's going to be the one next to line. You are now Labrys. And of course, the robot that she has to fight is, is Unit Zero Two Four, mm. her best friend, mm. and she freaks out, and then she, and she and, and she and she cries and all that. But then she's after she's defeated her and not destroyed her her her, her emotions, the, the robot just gets up, eyes blank, and is like, "You must kill me. You must fight me now." And so she goes for it. And when she finally destroys Unit Zero Two Four, she sheds a tear. And, and 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 she and because she and she was given a memory, and she finally and she's and she's under all this stress because they, they're doing this because I mean, it's enough sh- mental stress mm. to create this persona. Well, this is amazing because what it reminds me of goes back to your initial commentary about trauma and the kind of perhaps some of the narrative kind of conceits that sort of explain the actions of some of the characters, mm-hmm. and the idea that that like that 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 shedding it the robot shedding a tear exactly. is a great image because it's about that robot, in a sense, achieves something of its humanity mm-hmm. precisely in the moment of it being traumatized. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you've ever seen the first episode of uh, the series Westworld, an HBO I series. actually have. I think that <laughs> the first few seasons of that show, I think, are quite good. And that first episode, I believe, is one, for my money, is one of the most wonderful narrative depictions of, of a certain kind of um, what artificial intelligence is. And it, and it is that moment where she slaps the bug from her face on some, yeah. where she is feeling annoyance. She is feeling, and she responds to it. Right? There, there's a way in which the response to pain, suffering, death, whatever it might be, there's something about that moment that is the origin of the human that cannot, um, you know, that cannot be denied. On some level, right? So, which again begs the question: It's one thing to create robots that that perhaps are human-like, but it's another thing to reimagine our humanity in in relationship to a vision of a robot that's not also correct, right? In a weird way, like, we don't, you know, I'm just trying to kind of play that out, the idea that the problem is not so much our integration with our with machines, necessarily. It perhaps is our flawed and incomplete and non-robust imagination of, a, of machines that we're integrating with. Exactly, and and with, with Labrys, um, she she um, the, the spo- as I talk about in class, she was programmed with the con- because apparently they're not advanced to give a robot a personality yet. So every robot's personality is the personality of this little girl who is in a hospital bed. They don't say what disease she has, but she can't leave her hospital bed. 
and sh and, 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 sh and and that's where the accent comes in because in the English dub I'm guessing in the Japanese I haven't heard it but in the she has a weird accent as well but in the English dub she has a Boston accent mm -hmm. and 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 they comment about like oh you have this weird accent oh, fine it makes you unique fine I mean, but they do they're a little doubtful like the researchers and and then and then and then so that, that, that that little girl had that accent as well and and, sh and and she just hopes that she's giving away her life and her personality mm -hmm. for something greater good and she wants the people to be happy of course but the irony is that all the robots have to kill each other because then one comes out and that this, is Labrys. this is very dark Dave. This, this, is, this, very is, dark. this is this is this is this 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 please people if you haven't played this if you have not played this game it play, wa just go on it's two hours watch Labrys's story it is a very probably honestly Labrys is better than Sophia and I guess uh, she this is uh, this is such a and of course what happens is then when, when when they try to delete the memory and the knowledge of, of, of the little girl she runs away and and she's able to, and, and of course she's on an island so she can't escape but they so and then they so of course they have to turn they, 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 they just they put her to sleep and when they put her to sleep, then a voice comes in her head because it's persona. Young stuff has to happen, and because 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 her because the little girl wished to be a school, a high school student council president, mm. and so this and so this voice in her head, what I'm guessing is the Minotaur, Asterius, because so it sounds like a low, slightly lower voice. It doesn't sound demonic, but it sounds like so. I'm guessing it's Asterius. Mm. Grants her voice and says, "Do you?" She tells them the people in you, the pe those researchers. You're more human than those researchers. Yeah, they no. only they see you as an object. They don't see you as, as they don't care about you, and so they wish her into being student, completely human. Pinocchio moment, yeah. student council president. Well, you can see this this line of thinking, right? This like you know we talked about Turing before, but you know um, where he does beg the question of like what is the human, what is the machine? These are not categories that are set in stone. They actually might have a lot more in common than we might have imagined. Mm -hmm. And then it becomes at what point do, you know, who's, you know, who is modeling the best moral life in the room? Is it the mm. computer or is it the people? Right? Exactly. And so, I mean, I think that's a, that, that really does, it, it, it's a wonderful question and a, a wonderful narrative conceit then, I think, through the story you're telling about this young girl whose voice is being used by all these different people. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And I think, and yeah, so that, so that's, I, I, that's the only part of that story I know. Obviously, at, at the end, she accepts her shadow. Her shadow, what I know of, I haven't seen the shadow in the story yet. Oh my god, just. Um, but the shadow has is has this minute as the Minotaur Asterius, mm -hmm. and is, is referred to as the Raging Bull of Destruction. So she clearly is repressing all, all her desire to fight mm -hmm. because in the in the story, Elizabeth comes in, who is from the from the young, I just basically the young room. They, 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 where, where people confuse their personas in the original game, so it's just from, from Persona 3, and and, and, she, and she goes to him, like, I see that you're living, basically living a lie, mm. and, 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 and and she reveals that, 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 that the robot is in fact a robot to no one else, just to her. Just to her. Because she's apparently forgotten, and and, 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 and and she asks them to fight him, and of course, and she and she doesn't have her persona yet, she doesn't have Ariadne yet, but mm -hmm. she defeats Elizabeth with the persona she has, and, and she's like, what did I just do? But you know what I get? And so, like, that's, like, that moment of just, like, the mask is taken off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's like, that's that's reality. Mm -hmm. And that goes back to the stuff with Royal about, like, about, about oh, that sort of, like, an accepting, like, you got to accept the truth about everything. Dude, I, th I just had an idea, David. Yeah. We need to create not sad Facebook or sad Twitter or sad Instagram, shadow Twitter, shadow Instagram. Yes! And just basically kind of compel people to... You know, persuade them that the self that they're projecting is is, is not real. It's it's, it's, it's 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 part of the system. But there is an opportunity here to share, perhaps, in our, our <laughs> shadowy existences, existences that, by definition, cannot be grasped. Mm -hmm. That, in a sense, still say still cannot be measured empirically. Um, exactly. On that level, right? There's something about. Um, yeah. There's. I. I. I mean. So everybody. Hashtag. Shadow Facebook. Hashtag Shadow Instagram. Hashtag shadow tick like I don't even know. I sound like an old man. This is how this is how we this is how we storm the barricades of the techno media conglomerate world that we live in.